So I'm really excited to see uh, how they package this. Hopefully it's not just a bottle of protein in a cardboard box. Uh, hopefully maybe there's, you know, like a little letter or something. I don't know. It probably is just a bottle of protein in a cardboard box. But desk right now and I am trying to print out a shipping label for the Broken Gerber Knife Project so we can run it over to the post office. And what's interesting is it doesn't seem like they emailed me the shipping information which tells you like it says just print it out but it's not attached to the email. Um, so let me dig into uh, what I need to do here real quick to be able to send this back. So <clears throat> basically what the email says is thank you for submitting your warranty claim. Return product with a copy of your completed form which they don't attach to the email and use a insured and trackable method to ship back. Gerber Gear is not resp responsible for the loss of a product during freight to our facility. Okay I get that but how can I ship it back if I don't have the shipping label because or the form for that matter because you were going to make me print it out at the end and you didn't email me a copy? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so I basically just got the new warranty submission filled out um, and then I printed the shipping information document that has to go in the packaging. Um, pretty frustrated about that, but whatever. Here's the deal though, um, I don't have a printer, so <laughs> I gotta go by the school to print stuff out. And I'm trying to get a workout in, so we gotta hurry. Okay, everybody, so I'm about to run to the school and print out the PDF of the shipping information to go back to Gerber. Plus, I have to drop off a package for my buddy Heine. Then we're going to the gym, and I'm gonna get on the Stairmaster today, do some core, and hit the biceps. Don't usually wear the long sleeves to the gym, but today we'll give it a try. I gotta stand on this white shirt, so gotta use it for something, right? And then the Bear Performance Nutrition Whey Protein should be here today. I'm super impressed. It says it's out for delivery, and I only ordered it on Tuesday. So to come from Texas all the way up here to the Pacific Northwest, I think that's pretty impressive. So I can't wait to unbox that for you. So next time you see me, we should be getting the mail. Okay guys, just got out of the post office, and one thing I gotta say is it was a good experience. Got the Gerber knife shipped back, and so don't always hate on the US Postal Service, okay? So now I am going to be headed down to the gym to get a little workout in like I described to you earlier. One thing I wanna talk about real quick is uh, my boy Heine. I just shipped something for him. What it is, is a letter to the Seattle Seahawks, specifically John Schneider, because he really wants to work for them this summer. And so he took it upon himself to write a very personal letter um, explaining his situation. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm going to ask him before I put this in the vlog, uh, but if you have any connections or anything, reach out and tell him, you know, uh, you were watching the Meth Review vlog and that uh, one of his buddies is sending in a uh, letter to him and they'd be dumb not to hire him, honestly. So, just check it out. Oh, yup. Look at that. Bear Performance Protein. Let's go open it up inside. All right, guys. So, I'm about to open up this bear performance nutrition protein and uh, you know I don't really know anything about the company other than the fact that it's two brothers Preston and Nick Bear. Nick Bear is kind of the lead. Preston's doing a dope vlog though. He, you should go follow him. Preston Bear. Um, anyway the company seems really cool. They're young, fresh, really invested in it. Both of them are making serious gains as like bodybuilders. Um, so I'm really excited to see uh, how they package this. Hopefully it's not just a bottle of protein in a cardboard box. 
Um, hopefully, maybe there's, you know, like a little letter or something. I don't know. It probably is just a bottle of protein in a cardboard box, but uh, let's check it out. Let's see what is in this bad boy. By the way, this Cold Steel Code 4 is super baller. I absolutely love it. The CTS, yeah, XHP Steel is really, really good. Bad news, though, I can't find my Rat 1. And I haven't been able to for a while, but I was like, oh, it'll turn up, and it hasn't turned up. Be on the lookout for an OD Green Rat 1. Anyway, let's open it up. Ooh, yeah. Got kind of the standard... Yep, just <laughs> tissue paper and Bear Performance Nutrition Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream Flavor. Build, recover, perform. What I really like about this protein is that it's only got two grams of sugar per serving, which I feel like is pretty low in the protein world. I'm going to compare it to my uh, Precision Engineered real quick. Um, 130 calories, 28 servings per container, 25 grams per serving, which I'm not trying to like really max out on protein supplements, so like I'm not trying to do like two scoops and get 50 grams of protein after a workout, no, I've done that in the past, it can work if you're doing like ultra intense workouts, but I'm not doing those right now, I mean, we're working out hard, but I'm talking like strength, like, you know, just like four sets of four at like 85, 90%, then I'm packing on 50 grams of protein after a workout. Now uh, let me actually go grab my precision engineered protein and uh, we'll do a little comparison of the labels here. Okay so there actually is some significant differences between this whey protein isolate I was using before and this BPN whey protein. Now if I remember correctly this is running at like close to $50 per container and this is running closer to 30 okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do a comparison here. So, the Bear Performance Nutrition and the Precision Engineered have 130 calories per serving, okay? Now, the thing about the Precision Engineered, I'm just going to run through it with you real quick, is that there's no fats, no cholesterol. And then this is uh, 1.5 grams of fat and 60 milligrams of cholesterol. Not opposed to that at all, especially because, you know, people used to think fat is really bad for you. And realistically, sugar makes you fat. Fat in your bloodstream can be really good at causing your body to break down the fat in your body as a fuel source. This also has lower sodium. So this is 95 milligrams of sodium per serving, where this is only 50 milligrams of sodium per serving. And then it's higher potassium in here at 270 milligrams per serving, and precision engineered is 120 milligrams per serving. Now, as far as protein goes, one serving of Bear Performance Nutrition is 25 grams, and one serving of Precision Engineered is 30. Precision Engineered is also um, zero sugar, but this is two grams of sugar per serving. That's not going to kill me, especially because I'm really cutting back in sugar in other areas of my life. I'm not going to stop using it. I still have some left, but I'm definitely going to give this stuff a try, see how my body feels after taking it. So we're going to start using this tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to go make myself a smoothie and uh, let's chat a little more. Yeah, we're going to have a conversation, but first, I'm going to watch some Talent Sai on YouTube. Okay, I am back for the end of today's vlog. Um, so as you saw there, it took a minute, caught up on some of my own YouTube subscriptions. Um, yeah, so today was a really good day. Um, got back into the gym, like I said. Uh, I ended up getting on the stair climber, uh, doing some abs, doing another arm pump. Um, and that's just what I'm doing my filler days. I have Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm not on a program, so I can pretty much do whatever I want to. So, fitting in some extra work. Today was like a super low carb day. Um, the only carbs I ate were through uh, some carrots and some peppers and some cheese only carbs in my diet today. Um, I want to try to do that, so like I ate low carb today and then I was um, really maintaining a like fat burning heart rate in the gym, so that's between like 120, 130 beats per minute uh, for me. And then starting tomorrow morning, we're going to carb up because we've got a super difficult workout in the afternoon. I think we got squats, cleans, and bench press, um, and it's high rep volume. So tomorrow morning, starting off probably with some hash browns. Uh, pancakes and a protein shake um, and then we'll get going to class and then we'll have some lunch 
and then I'll be kind of at my internship, um, and then we're going to hit the gym later tomorrow afternoon, so I don't know how much cool stuff you'll see, or if you even see a vlog tomorrow. Um, you know, yesterday, I didn't put one out. I had the opportunity to go to a memorial for a fallen police officer in the area. Um, it was incredible, and I just wanted to take the rest of the day and kind of reflect upon that for myself, um, and I didn't just want to just push out more content, because that's not what this channel is about. It's about pushing, uh, you know, stuff I think is interesting, and I really didn't have anything interesting to say at that point in the day. Well, I'm really excited to try out the new BPN protein. Uh, thank you guys for shipping it out so fast. I really appreciate it. They have a bunch of recipes online, so you should really check that out. If, um, if you haven't already, check out all their recipes. Uh, like they have one to like replace a pizuki. Um, they have uh, the mint chocolate chip ice cream uh, pro yo, which is like their protein frozen yogurt. Uh, that looks pretty interesting too. So I think I'm going to try out some of those online recipes. Maybe we'll include those in some future vlogs. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed everything we talked about today. So, like I've told you before, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know, let's, let's grow this thing. If you are interested in my life, maybe somebody else's, maybe one of your other friends is, let's just, you know, share the content um, and ask questions. Uh, leave comments about things you might want to see next time. And uh, thanks again, guys. I will see you next time at the Metroview Area Vlog.